<laughs> so, if you see my Walking Dead live streams, you would have seen that we managed to kill everyone. And you know what's better than killing everyone in a game? Killing everyone in the game twice. Welcome to the Walking Dead Hunger Games Season 1. <laughs> and also what? And also what, Lee? No! No! Get in! Get in! Okay, so we've got everyone here. District 1, we have Lee and the police officer. Two huge main characters. Then we have Clementine and Duck, my favourite child character in any video game. Duck! I'm gonna drive the tractor! We have Kenny and Catcher in District 3, coming in at 4. Carly and Doug, 5, my two favourite characters. Larry and Lily. District 6, we have Sean and Herschel. 7, the two cannibal brothers. Andy and Danny. District 8, we got Ben and Mark, the two most useless characters in any ca <laughs> They're more useless than me! District 9, we got Glenn and we got Chuck. District 10, Krista and Amid. Now, spoilers, but even though these two were the only ones that survived season 1, 20 minutes into season 2, they were both dead! <laughs> <laughs> District 11, we got Vernon and Moldy Bree. And District 12, finally, we have Molly and Stranger. The bloodbath begins. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Mark and Lily fight for a bag. Mark gives up and retreats. That... That sounds about right. Duck runs away. Again. Legitimate. Lee Everett snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. I mean... Really, Lee? Herschel runs away. Catcher runs away. Andy runs away. Kenny runs away, Omid runs away, Dog runs away, Krista, why is everyone a pussy? Ben runs, okay that makes sense, Ben is going to run away from everything. Molly grabs a jar of fishing bait, while Larry gets fishing gear. This could play out interestingly. These two never met each other in the game. Are they going to work together or are they going to hate each other? Vernon runs away. This time not of a boat. Sean runs away. Police officer runs away. He's already survived further in this than he did in the game. Clementine stays for resources. But everyone's running away and we've got this eight year old here being a brave thing. Brie gets more fishing bait while Carly gets more fishing gear. Glenn, Danny and the stranger work together to get as many su supplies. Glenn? You're working with the two most evil people in the entire story. This is why Negan's the hero. And finally Chuck runs away. My foot's hurting, I need to sit down. Here we go for day one. Ben receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Omid is going hunting on his own. Molly tries to spearfish with a trident. The stranger attacks Andy but manages to escape. Carly finds a river. Bree finds a cave. Danny finds a river. Chuck explores. Krista overhears Doug and Lily talking in the distance. That's a duo I didn't see, see happening there, Doug and Lily. Larry searches for a water source. Catcher attempts to climb a tree, but falls on Herschel, killing them both. <laughs> <laughs> so Catcher, being useless like normal, killed herself and Herschel. That's first two down. Vernon and Glenn work together for the day. Sean picks flowers. Police officer picks flowers. Clementine attacks Kenny. Clementine! You're a psychopath! Lee goes hunting. Mark receives fresh food. <laughs> Is it his legs? Has <laughs> Mark just been given his legs? And Doc receives a hatchet. Night one. Andy screams for help. Clementine receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Kenny quietly hums. Police officer quietly hums. Man, there's no drama happening. Come on, bro. Lily receives fresh food. Glenn cooks his food. Krista tries to sing herself to sleep. Molly thinks about home. Okay, here we go. Doc decapitates Omid. <gasps> with a sword. Doc decapitates Omid. <laughs> what an image. If anyone else did that, I'd be pissed. But Doc, <laughs> how did you even do that, Doc? Well done. Vernon, Larry, Danny. Three of the biggest douches in the game. And Sean. 
all tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Mark tries to treat his infection. Oh, this is literally straight from the game. He's going to die next. Stranger gets an explosive. Uh-oh. Bree begs for Dog to kill her, but he refuses, keeping Bree alive. Why would you do that, Dog? However, why would you keep Bree alive? Lee Everett convinces Carly to snuggle with him. It happened. It happened. Clee shippers. We did it. They finally got together. Ben thinks about winning. I don't see that happening. And Chuck gets some clean water. The stranger sees some smoke rising in the, in the distance. Carly questions her sanity. Vernon sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate. Hold up. Sean, Bree and Glenn successfully ambush and kill Duck, Clementine and Danny. What? What? I'm sorry, what? What? How did they do that then? I, I guess, to be fair, two grown men and Brie taking on two eight-year-olds. It's not that surprising, actually, is it? Krista chases Doug. Ben forces Molly to kill Kenny or Lee. Oh, damn. The two, my two favourite characters. But she refuses. So Ben kills her instead. That's, to be fair, that's probably the best outcome we could have hoped for. <laughs> Larry steals from Andy, saw that coming, and Mark, Lily, Chuck, and police officer work together to hunt for tributes. So we lost. I mean, Duck, Clementine, Danny, and Molly. Oh, that's a big oof. That's seven people down now. Chuck strangles Lily. Go on, Chuck. Go on, Chucky boy. Krista and Annie, Krista and Andy run into each Krista and Andy run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Bree and Kenny run into each other and decide to truce for a night. Lee and Sean run into each other. No, wait, that's not right. Lee and Sean talk about the tribute still alive. Stranger can't sleep. Ben tries to sing himself to sleep. Larry lets Carly into his... Into his shot. Bro, if Carly sleeps with Larry... I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to I'm just going to have to end the video if that happens. At least it's not Carly letting Larry into her shelter. <sighs> Dog kills Vernon with a hatchet. Mark and police officer sheep in... I can't speak. Mark and police officer sleep in shifts while Glenn passes out from exhaustion after killing two eight-year-olds. Big up, Negan. But Glenn overhears Stranger and Lee talking in the distance. If these two are working together, that is the biggest plot twist so far. Kenny dies! Trying to escape the arena. And Ben makes a slingshot. How is Ben out survive Kenny? Come on. Even in the game, it only happened by about five seconds. Kenny still out survives Ben. Krista also makes a slingshot. Dog attacks Mark, but he manages to escape. If Mark wins this... <laughs> oh, oh, man... Chuck defeats Larry in a fight, but spares. Bro, you killed Lily, but you're going to spare Larry? The police officer that dies within two minutes of the game bashes Carly's head in with a mace. You know what? I think that's a good thing. Her and Lee got together. That's what he wanted. Something might have happened with Larry. I'm glad the police officer stepped in and was like, no, that's not happening. He was clearly a, a Klee shipper. Oh, arena event. The arena turns pitch black and nobody can see a thing. But Chuck survives. Bree accidentally makes contact with a spiny leaf of plant life. <laughs> that feels good. While fighting, Larry and Krista lose their balance, roll down a jagged hillside and die. I like this event. This is a good event. Lee survives. We like that. Sean survives. Doug survives. Mark trips on a rock and falls off a cliff. Of course Mark does that. Of course he does. Of course. Of course he does that. God damn it, Mark. While fighting, Stranger and Andy lose their balance, roll down a jagged hillside and die. I'm fine with that. While fighting, police officer and Glenn lose their balance, roll down the jagged hillside and die. But Ben survives. How did we lost six people? From falling down a hill. <laughs> Bruh. We lost 12. 
we lost 12 people. What's that, 19 people gone? So we've got Lee, Doug, Sean, Ben, and Chuck left alive. Ironic that Lee is the only one without a kill. <laughs> Doug defeats Ben in a fight, but spares his life? Lee stays awake all night, and Sean tends to Chuck's wounds. This is, uh, this is quite wholesome. No one's died. What a nice night. Now it's a feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Is it worth... If you're in the Hunger Games and your girlfriend writes you a letter and sends it in, are you going to risk your life to read that letter? Or are you going to try and survive so you can see her again? So you can... So you can... So you can... Lee decides not to go to the feast because he... Uh, his wife left him after he, he killed the, the guy that she was cheating on him with. Doug doesn't go to the feast. Ben doesn't go to the feast. Sean does not go to the feast. And Chuck... Chuck dies from an infection. Ben is the mastermind. Because on day four, Ben forces Lee to kill Doug or Sean. Now there's a poll right here. Who is Lee going to kill? Is he going to kill Doug? Is he going to kill Sean? Is he going to kill Ben? Or is Ben going to kill Lee? What's going to happen? <sighs> I'm covered! Kind of looks like a, uh, a, um, I don't know. So we're left with Ben, Lee, and Sean. Night four. Lee comes in and he destroys Sean's supplies while he's asleep. And Ben sets up camp for the night. Sean discovers a river. That's nice and wholesome. Ben bashes Lee's head in with a mace. Ben, what are you doing? How are we left with Ben and Sean? Sean is the first character that we actually have a name for that dies. And Ben is Ben. And it's all led up to this moment. 22 people have fought for their lives and they have died trying to be the last one that lives. You know, people have killed their loved ones just to get out of this, you know, Katya, she fell out of that tree. Larry fell off that cliff. Kenny, I don't know what happened to Kenny. And it comes down to this epic finale. What could happen? Ben bleeds out due to untreated. Ben bleeds out to his untreated. Ben bleeds out to his untreated injuries. So, Sh Sean wins. Sean, how does Sean win the game? Hold on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 10, 13, 16, 1 winner, 17. So 7 people killed themselves. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't expect Sean to win. <laughs> um, that's a plot twist. I don't know what to say. Uh, bye!